What's up, folks at home? Beatsy Boys. Hi. A great trip here to Tokyo. Brand new well, album, right? Is that what you're supposed to yep. say? Chock full of cuts. Uh, Chock full of cuts. Let us know how many songs you think it has. Um, we think it has a lot. I feel it does stick to themes in its own way just in terms of not sticking to themes is a theme unto itself if that makes any sense mm -hmm. oh, I'm not I, sure I how well that, that translates but going for uh, non -theme. no because I think that's kind of the whatever it's a theme or a philosophy it's kind of like try everything do everything and then like also make uh, make tracks like as dense like keep adding loops or keep playing stuff on top of stuff and kind of just keep going but then at the same time I think then the other side of it was kind of keeping like a lot of short songs keeping things kind of action-packed if you will because I think some of like our favorite punk rock or hardcore songs or whatever it was kind of like like are just really good two and a half minute songs yeah so again like you know to sum up sticking to the theme of not sticking to themes Um, I think it's, I mean, we all know the possibility of hip-hop as a medium for expression. Everybody wants to be a rapper. So I think it's a pretty important uh, medium. I think we, we can all, it, we, 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 we know, but we won't, it's difficult to accept that it is. Uh, I don't think my mom wants to be a rapper. I mean, not as far as I know. Mm. Most people want to be rappers. And so it's a very important, you know, medium, I feel, you know, amongst the kids. The children. Children. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is a huge medium in itself. It's big time. Especially after this record comes out. Yeah. It saves the industry. Game changer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. In terms of getting ideas across, I guess, you know, with sky's the limit, you know, like whatever. If if somebody has, like if you check a group like Public Enemy, they're able to get across a lot of, um, a lot of information and emotion, feeling. So it's, you know, it's a, I don't know. I, I, just to come back to me, I'd say it's the same question to say, like, what, you know, how a medium of, like, poetry, how does that get expression across? And I think it's rap is poetry. Yeah, because so it could be whatever. Yeah. You know, even, uh, even could be, get across, like, emotions like a love song. Like, I think that, uh, that Method Man on, uh, whatchamacallit, that joint he did with Mary J. Blige. Or LL Cool J, I Need Love. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, in fact, we're going to be doing um, some interviews later on LL, LL's couch. Yeah. Are we? Uh, yeah, I made an arrangement to get it shipped over. It's is a surprise he, for you guys. Is love going to be there? He's unfortunately unavailable. But for me to answer that question, I'm going to, I'm going to bring some history into the game and into my answer. And uh, I say, no, I think it's, like, it's interesting if you look at it hist with like a historical perspective and you have like whatever Sugar Hill Gang. Rapper's Delight, you got uh, whatever, Grandmaster Flash, and The Furious Five, um, Treacherous Three, like you look at those records and like the, the, those party records, then on through like Run DMC and how different that was to like De La Soul, Boogie Down Productions, like Big, da Big, ba Big Daddy Kane, <laughs> um, Biz Markie, like what Eric B and Rakim, like what was happening then, and then Public Enemy, and then keep skipping forward again and how much it changed and you get to like whatever outcast and what hip hop has meant globally and what it means now whatever and everything along the way from Jay-Z to Biggie to Missy Elliott Missy Elliott to MIA to what you know anything in the world or, or just even also the impact of hip hop and rap um, on music as a whole it's kind of like it's a very limitless and sort of on ever 
evolving uh, medium, which is pretty cool. So it's interesting to have that perspective now because I don't know that anyone could have, would have thought of it that way at, in the first beginning. I mean, remember when we started, and like ev practically every interview we do, that people would ask, like, well, when's hip hop or rap going to be done? And we'll see you soon. Thank you.